Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visiting troops outside the Gaza Strip on Saturday as Israel's defense forces prepare for an expected ground invasion of the Gaza Strip. The IDF has carried out special forces raids inside Gaza, searching for hostages, as well as Hamas weapons and defenses. Israel has bombarded the Gaza Strip with relentless airstrikes in retaliation for last weekend's attack, in which Hamas terrorists killed at least 1,300 Israelis and took many others hostage. Sobering images at a morgue in Israel, the bodies being stored in shipping containers. An IDF official describes the terror they've seen. And they saw bodies, they saw the massacre, they saw the ISIS-style carnage. Amid the ongoing Israeli airstrikes, the death toll in Gaza continues to rise. Entire neighborhoods reduced to rubble. Thousands of leaflets raining down, warning about a million Gaza City residents to head south ahead of that potential ground invasion. But the UN calling for the reversal of the evacuation order. Moving more than one million people across a densely populated war zone is extremely dangerous and in some cases simply not possible. Thousands of Palestinians fleeing from the north, strapping their belongings to their cars. Others traveling by foot, hoping to find safety. We're leaving our house right now, and we don't know where to go. 21-year-old Tala Herzala sending this voice memo. She says there were bombings as they tried to evacuate, so they returned to their home. Please, please try to let everyone know how much we are suffering. How, how we are dying, please let everyone know we are dying, you have to move, the world has to move. A source tells ABC News the U.S. is negotiating with Egypt to pressure Israel to open the Rafah crossing to allow foreign nationals to get out in exchange for sending humanitarian aid. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.